Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Geography. However, this season we're going to be focusing on the Leaving Certificate Geography paper and getting them all important H1 answers by explaining as simply as possible the world around us. So, whether you're a student gearing up for exams or a teacher looking for extra resources, you're in the right place. So, subscribe to stay updated and let's tackle this course together. Today was a very important day because we, we really started uh, our first Leave and Sir 30 mark question. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to start and show you what I, I did with the lads today um, and hopefully it makes some sense to you. I'm going to upload this, you're probably watching it now from the Google Classroom, but please, uh, any questions at all, it's going to be very, very important that you you email me because as I said, this is the first of the 30 mark questions we're going to do. Just looking at this for a second, um, we can see that there are three different types of plate movements. There's plates that smack into each other. So here, the Nazca plate is smacking into South America. America. The African plate is smacking into the Eurasian plate. When they smack in together, that's known as convergent plate boundaries. Convergent plate boundaries can are also known as destructive plate boundaries because they tend to destroy things. So you have convergent. When plates pull apart, then you have divergent. So plates are pulling apart and lava comes in and fills in the cracks and crevices. So a destructive plate is convergent. A constructive plate, because they make things, they make islands and volcanoes and things like that, they're, con they're divergent or constructive. And finally, you have passive, which are the two plates passing by each other. So convergent, divergent and passive. That's the important bit. In today's video and in today's class, we looked at convergent plate boundaries. So I'm coming away from that for a second and I'm going to pop right down here to the different plate movements and start from here. We had convergent plate boundaries and two oceanic plates can collide. Two, an oceanic and a continental plate can collide. And finally, a continental and a continental plate can collide. And that's what we're going to focus here on today is convergence okay and we'll take one at a time and as i said to the lads today in class each one of these we have to have examples of the plates and the features that they're formed so just try to remember names and addresses for each one of these so i'm going to skip by here because our focus is on convergence so convergence means the plates are moving towards each other they are destructive because they deform or they destroy or they change the shape of the crust okay two big plates smacking together is destructive because it deforms and again oceanic oceanic we look at oceanic continental and then when two continents collide so we look at the first one first oceanic and oceanic here we have it when two oceanic plates collide one of them will be subducted okay it depends on the t it depends on which one is heavier the two of them are made from the same thing so both of them are made from the same thing but one of them will subduct and as they subduct they form a trench so you can see here a trench is formed and they form a trench and they also when it's being subducted the plate begins to melt melting gives you extra magma and extra magma then has to go somewhere and it's usually in the form of a volcano or a volcanic island arc so our example is and you'll need to have that diagram in your copy our example is when as i said two plates collide converge the older one is subducted into the mantle the point at which they collide that's known as the zone of subduction so here is known as the zone of sub, the zone sorry of subduction our example is very important that's why i put it in red think of p plus p gives you m the pacific plate and the philippines plate smack together to give you the marianas trench and the marianas trench i mentioned in class is the deepest place on earth it's 11 kilometers deep the reason why this is in red if you answer the question 
about a destructive plate boundary and didn't mention any examples well you're going to get zero out of the 30 so the names of the plates are important and the names of the features that the plates when they collide form that's also important so think oceanic oceanic the pacific and the philippines give you the marianas trench what else happens well it depends really the descending plate that's being subducted will melt and as it melts it it produces extra magma and this extra magma has to go somewhere the magma rises and feeds volcanic activity and usually it creates islands or vol volcanic islands and the example is we have volcanic islands in japan in the philippines and in indonesia and they tend to be in an arc shape and the reason why they're in an arc shape is basically they're following the curvature of the earth okay so we've heard plenty of earthquakes and plenty of tsunamis in japan and that's because it's in in or around a subduction zone so the key thing here the philippines plate and the um sorry the philippines plate and the pacific plate converging together gives you the marianas trench it gives you volcanic islands and it gives you the volcanic or the arc shape islands of japan and philippines anytime you have two plates colliding you're going to get earthquakes there's no doubt about it when you have two big continents or two oceanic plates colliding you better believe there's going to be some earthquakes okay so the summary you don't need to take down the summary just know that the process is subduction where crust is destroyed the feature is a deep trench the marianas trench the volcanic islands and earthquakes okay so that was our first one oceanic oceanic now if we look at oceanic continental so oceanic continental is when an oceanic plate collides with a continental plate we know that the oceanic plate is a heavier and it's older it's made up of basalt whereas the continental plate is younger it's lighter it's made of granite it actually is a bit more buoyant on so it floats better when these two collide the heavier oceanic plate is subducted into the asthenosphere and again with subduction we get melting we get rising magma we get volcanic activity now as i was saying to the lads in class today when an oceanic plate subducts the magma that's made from the melting of that oceanic plate is very explosive why well it contains carbon because in the bottom of the ocean we have fish fossils so animals and fish that had passed away their bones would be down on the ocean floors that gets subducted into the mantle and that produces a lot of carbon dioxide and carbon also when water is subducted it creates superheated steam so the lava is full of gases full of steam to propel the gases up and it makes it a very explosive lava so we get big time volcanic activity here another deep trench tends to be formed okay and again the sea floor is buckled up so we have some folding so some fold mountains okay because of the ocean oceanic plate colliding with the continental our example is when the nazca plate collides with south the south american plate now i'm just going to pop all the way back here for a second and let you see what i'm talking about there we have the nazca plate here and it's colliding with the south american plate the nazca plate is an oceanic plate so it's being subducted down underneath the south american plate what's being made well we have the andes are being made here and you can kind of see them in this picture but also you have two major volcanoes on top of those uh, mountains so you have a volcanic mountain on top of a mountain and it's the names are cotopaxi and nevada del ruiz so we have fold mountains we have volcanoes and finally we have a big trench off the coast of chile okay i'll just pop back to the notes here and here we are so what do we have we have the nazca plate colliding with the south american plate 
We have a trench being formed off the coast of Chile and Peru. And we have a chain of volcanoes are formed. And the key volcanoes here is one is called Cotopaxi and one is called Nevada del Ruiz. And we're going to talk about Nevada del Ruiz uh, in when we get to volcanoes because this volcano gave out one of the largest lahar eruptions it's called a lahar eruption uh, in recorded history very destructive and we have to look at that but those are the two volcanoes that are made the interesting thing here is in the andy mountains and these fold mountains or the andes they actually found fish fossils and fish bones and that tells us that the land on which the mount the mountains are made of was once underwater so the land was folded up and buckled from under the water all the way up uh, and also the last thing is there's earthquakes are also associated with this boundary obviously so there you have subduction our trench and our volca volcanoes and again you need those diagrams and very lastly you don't need to take that down. That's a summary of what I just said. And very lastly, we have the most destructive of all is continental. Continental. And what happens here is you have the two rocks and they're both similar size. So neither one of them wants to subduct. Some of the upper rigid mantle does subduct. So there's very little extra magma. But we have major folding and fold mountains. Okay. Some of the magma does rise up and seep into the gaps of the folds. Um, and our example here is 500 million years ago, India collided with the Eurasian plate to give us the Himalayan mountains. Now, India, believe it or not, is still colliding with Eurasia. And as is Africa, Africa is still colliding with Eurasia as well. That's why the Himalayan mountains are still growing. And they're growing at around, around two centimeters, two to three centimeters, centimeters, sorry, a year, the same rate as your fingernail grows. And again, the same idea, we found fish fossils up in the Himalayas as proof then that they were once underwater. Okay, summary there, fold mountains and major earthquakes and the formation of plutonic rock. And I'll explain that plutonic rock later on, uh, but formation of granite. Now, there was 12 minutes and 13 seconds gone. There you have loads of information. That, lads, is the beginning of your answer. Or that is the answer. And I'm going to show you the question. If I pop all the way down here. Uh, do I have the question? No, I don't. But it's on the Google Classroom. The question is, describe or explain a destructive plate boundary. And basically what you have to do, the notes on convergence, the notes on convergence will answer that question for you. So I'll scroll all the way down here. And hopefully it bloody works. Yeah. Describe and explain destructive plate boundaries for 30 marks. An SRP is any significant relevant point. So let me quickly just pop back to the notes here. And you'll start not like an English essay. Okay. Definitely. Do, you don't want to be talking like an English essay. You just want to get straight to the point. So it says describe destructive plate boundaries. You're going to literally say a destructive plate boundary is where a plate is deformed, destroyed, or changed the shape of the crust. You can have oceanic, 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 continental, continental, continental. So there's two marks and two marks. So now you're on two SRPs. You need another 13. Where will we get the 13? You get two marks for drawing a diagram. So now you're on three SRPs. And each one of these points with the example is an SRP. Okay, don't put in the summary. You're putting in this will answer your question. This will answer your question. And don't forget the diagrams. So the notes that you've just took, taken down in your copy today, that will become the answer for that exam question. If there's a particular topic you'd like covered or something you're struggling with, feel free to get in touch in the comment section below and I'll aim to cover it in future videos. So subscribe to stay updated and let's tackle this course together.